Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is a pretty exciting one, yet a little nerve-wracking for me. Um, today's video is just going to be a review on the Anastasia Subculture Palette. And I'm just, I don't know, I'm kind of nervous to film like a review on it simply because of all of the bashing that this palette has been getting. But I'm really happy to say that my opinions that I have on this palette are completely different from what other people have been saying about it. So yeah, I'm kind of excited to film this, kind of nervous, but yeah. Hopefully you guys enjoy this video, and if you would like to see what my thoughts are on this palette, then of course, just keep on watching. Okay, so this is what it looks like, and it just comes with that same like soft material that the Modern Renaissance palette comes in, and it just has the name of the palette up on top, of course. Comes with the mirror. 14 eyeshadows, yeah, 14. Um, intrigued me the most and really caught my attention about this palette was just the fact that it's different from what I already have in my collection. I was super, super excited when I saw this palette and I immediately wanted it. So yeah, let me get to the swatches of the very first row really quickly. Um, this is what the first row looks like. Great here so this is cube and this is like the duochrome kind of shadow I don't know how well you can see that but it's it looks white in the pan but it comes off like really it comes off really pink I don't know it's pretty though this is dawn which is just a really pretty nudie brown shade the next one is destiny like i said it's just a really beautiful deep olive green shade it's gorgeous and then the next one is one of my favorites it's called adorn and it's just a beautiful coppery bronze shade it's gorgeous i love it so much and it's very very pigmented the very next one is all star which is a matte and that's just a beautiful burgundy red cranberry shade. Then we have Mercury, which is that shade right there. Um, and I don't really know how to describe that. It's like a taupey, cool brown shade. And that is Axis. Right here, it's just a beautiful, I don't even know how to describe it. It's like a beautiful deep teal color. It's, that's the best way that I can describe it so yeah those are the swatches for the very top row so now that we're done with these swatches for the very top row we're going to go on to the very bottom row which is this one right here all of these shades Roxy is a very beautiful like peachy pink color a very beautiful transition shade it's like a really pretty peachy color with a lot of pink undertone in it the next shade is electric which is a gorgeous lime metallic green the next one is fudge which is a really nice warm brown deep brown shade just a tiny hint of red in it this one is new wave which the best way that I can describe it is just a really nice mustard yellow shade. This next shade is called Untamed, which is just a little bit lighter than that cool teal blue. Not cool, but teal blue color that I showed you guys from the first row. Um, it's just a lighter version of that. Then we have Edge, which is just another mustard shade, but a little bit more of a yellow undertone it's just a little bit more yellow than the new wave is and then the very last shade in here is called rowdy and this one is just a really beautiful deep purple shade now let's get on to my thoughts on what 
I think about the whole palette and how they swatched and how they applied. It's actually what I'm wearing on my eyes right now. So when I ended up swatching them, what I did notice was that I haven't touched this palette since I swatched it and barely any fallout. And I've seen a lot of videos here on YouTube where people just dip their brush in there and they get tons and tons and tons of fallout, which I don't know if there's just like a bad batch of palettes somewhere, I don't know, but my palette personally, when I use it, yes, there is quite a bit of fallout, but it's not as bad as I've seen some people's palettes are dead honest opinion on this palette is that I love it I'm definitely going to be reaching for it more and I just found it was easy to work with um, I don't really have a problem with eyeshadows that are very pigmented um, I found myself having to dip my brush into the palette only once for both eyes and that rarely ever happens with other eyeshadow palettes that I have. I usually just have to keep dipping my brush into it to make it a little bit more intense. But with this palette, I don't really have that problem. I really hope that I helped you out a little bit if you were a little on the fence on buying it. Thank you so much for watching. Please hit that like button if you liked this video. And also don't forget to hit that subscribe button so that you don't miss out on any more videos from my channel. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next one. Bye.